Welcome to the SOLIDWORKS Education video tutorial, Determine the Area of a Region. Hi, my name is Marie Planchard and I'm Director of Education Marketing and Curriculum Development here at SOLIDWORKS. Today's lesson is to take a look at two curves. One, the top curve, is driven by the function y is equal to secant squared x. The bottom function is controlled by y is equal to sine x. We're going to look at the region of this area from 0 to pi over 4. How would you create this area in SOLIDWORKS? First, create a new part. Right-click on the front plane. Click Sketch. We need to create two sketches on the front plane. Click Tools, Sketch Entity, Equation-Driven Curve. For the first curve, enter sine x. For x is equal to 1, enter 0. For x is equal to 2, enter pi divided by 4. Be certain to put pi in parentheses to define pi. Press the F key to fit the graph. Right click on the front plane. Click Sketch. Select Equation Driven Curve. For the top curve, enter secant x quantity squared. If you try to enter in secant squared x, SOLIDWORKS will display the function in red. This is not the correct format. For the lower limit, x is equal to 0. For the upper limit, x is equal to pi divided by 4. Click OK. The two curves are created on two separate sketches. Now let's create a surface. Click Insert Surface Boundary Surface. Select the two curves. Because x is equal to 0 and x is equal to pi over 4, two vertical lines are automatically drawn to bind the surface. Click OK. Select Tools Section Properties. Select the surface. The area of the surface is calculated in the dialog box. Click Close. Let's take a closer look at the value of area. SOLIDWORKS calculated 0 0.7071 millimeters squared out to four decimal places. In engineering class, you are constantly comparing a graphical solution or an approximate numerical solution with an analytical solution. So let's use calculus to determine the analytical solution and see how close we are. I'm going to integrate my two curves, the top curve being secant squared x and the bottom curve subtracting the bottom curve being sine x. I integrate from 0 to pi over 4. Since I'm going along the x-axis, I integrate with respect to dx. Integrating secant squared x gives me tangent x. Integrating minus sine x gives me a positive cosine x, and I will evaluate these functions from 0 to pi over 4. First, using the upper limit of pi over 4, tangent of pi over 4 is equal to 1. Cosine of pi over 4 is equal to square root of 2 divided by 2. Then I subtract the lower limit, 0. Tangent of 0 is equal to 0 cosine of 0 is equal to 1. Doing a little algebra, I'm left with square root of 2 over 2, which is approximately equal to 0 0.707. So my analytical solution determined using calculus is similar to my solution using SOLIDWORKS.